Hey everybody, happy Monday. Happy Monday everyone. It's been a little while. It's been a few weeks since we've done a video together on a Monday and this one I think is going to be one of the more important ones we've done in a little while. Get lots of questions about this and that is what types of fish can you keep with shrimp? We keep a lot of shrimp in our fish room. By the way, we've done a lot of species profiles, not only on the shrimp, but on the fish we're gonna talk about today. So check out the description below if you want more information on how to keep the fish we're going to mention. One other thing to consider, if you are looking for any of the fish or shrimp, check out Flip Aquatics, flipaquatics.com. They are a channel sponsor who sells amazing nano fish, specifically for your shrimp, high quality shrimp. Check out the description below if you want to see their website and see what they have to offer. So. One of the main things I think is what do you do about algae control in a shrimp tank? Because shrimp will eat a little bit of algae, but they're not gonna eat the algae off the glass. Nope. They're not gonna eat that, that brown diatom algae. So what do we have that could just help with that situation? I promise we'll get into other types of inhabitants as well. Well, my first pick, don't overlook the mystery snail. If you've got some colorful shrimp, you might as well give them colorful buddies and that would be mystery snails. My, purp my purple ones or my magenta ones are my absolute favorite, but they come in so many different colors and they're great shrimp buddies. They are, not only the mystery snails, but the nearites. So that's gonna be one of the combinations. You can have your shrimp with snails, mystery snails, nearite snails. We've done trumpet snails before, even ram's horn snails. What's nice about adding the mystery snails to your shrimp tank is they're gonna get at some of that algae the shrimp are going to ignore. And they're also going to be scavengers at the bottom of the tank and maybe eat some of the fish food or the shrimp food that the shrimp have kind of let go. The other thing to consider if you're still looking for a different type of fish that's going to eat algae are your clown plecos. Love clown plecos. They don't get very large, usually a tank of 10 gallons or more and they're gonna be really good to go. They are going to help eat that algae off the glass and off some of your decorations. And? Well, if you want some more entertainment on the bottom of the tank, I highly recommend one of my favorite little tiny fish on the bottom, and that would be pygmy quarries. They can also find, kind of form a little pile of quarries, a little pygmy quarries, and they're, they're so small, and the size works really, really well with the shrimp. Now. What we're doing here is we're trying to give you options where the vast majority of your shrimp are going to be safe, they're not going to be eaten, and you'll even have some shrimplets survive. There are lots of other fish that could potentially go with adult shrimp, but we've kind of we really wanted to focus on fish that are going to be safe and pretty much 90% of the shrimp growth stages, and especially if you've got some plants in the tank where the shrimplets can hide, grow up a little bit. You should be in really good shape. Back to our algae thing, and that is the otocinclus. So if you have water parameters conducive for their growth, a nice group of those could also be helpful when it comes to eating algae. So most of the fish that we will be mentioning will be very small and they will stay under an inch, which is a perfect size to mix and match with your little shrimpies. One of my favorite fish, either with or without shrimp, but work great with shrimp, are the CPDs, Celestial Pearl Danios, otherwise known as the Galaxy Rasbora. They have beautiful coloring. They're really fun to watch. They, they have a lot of activity and they're really good shrimp buddies. It'd be a cool fish to have if you've got, let's say, some red cherry shrimp and you want a little bit of blue. Great fish. And like Joanna said, not only are these fish small, but most importantly, their mouths are also very small and they're going to tend to leave your shrimp alone a little bit more. We are going to recommend a fair number of rasboras. Again, we're trying to maximize your success with keeping fish and shrimp together. Another rasbora you could certainly consider is the green kubatai rasbora. I absolutely love this fish. It's one of the larger rasboras that we are going to recommend, but they get a really, really beautiful, almost like a lime green, bright green color that can add a lot of color to the tank and they also a lot of these rasboras like to school together or at least shoal together and they're going to keep a nice tight group so the green kuba ties are a great example what are the types of rasboras well if you want to go super tiny you can do the chili rasbora one of my favorites and not only are they very very tiny basically shrimp shrimp sized fish but they're very narrow, they're very skinny, and they have tremendous red color packed into those tiny little bodies. They do have a ton of red color, and if you can't find those, 
You could also look for the Dwarf Raspora. These are also a reddish color, a little bit more orange, but also extremely tiny and most likely going to leave your shrimp alone. So if you can't find the chilies, the Dwarf Raspora is another one to look at that is going to school rather tightly. We've got a couple tanks with a lot of Dwarf Rasboras. Absolutely love this fish. Next on the list. Well, this is gonna be one of my absolute favorite fish and one of the tiniest, actually the seventh smallest freshwater fish, and that would be the Florida Lee's Killy. It's uh, amazingly tiny, and we actually have two different variations, the regular, which is kind of like a brown and white, very tiny, but they also come in a gold color. Highly recommend them. Now the next one that I am going to talk about, it's the last one, and it is another Rasbor. I don't wanna not mention it, because it's pretty cool, and that is the exclamation point rasbora. We currently have them in a tank with some blue dream shrimp. That combination has done very well together. This is a fish that's kind of like a tannish color, has a really cool black stripe, and is certainly going to offset some of the other fish that we've talked about, some of the reds and blues and greens, and offer a different look to your tank. And again, usually are fairly safe, or very safe for shrimp. And so those are the 10 inhabitants that we would highly recommend for your shrimp. Yes, as I've mentioned, there are other fish that will sometimes do well with adult shrimp, but we wanted to make sure that we had the safest selection for you, a selection that's gonna be very colorful and one that you will enjoy for years to come. So those are the shrimp buddies. Would love to hear from you down in the comments section below. What fish have you kept with shrimp that you thought were a really good combo? Appreciate you being here and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.